Katy Perry, um, of course, ended her field with Taylor Swift. I think it's about in April last year, yeah? Uh, so basically, they're now saying it is to set example for young fans. In an interview, Perry said the media made out their field to be much bigger than it actually was. She said, and I quote, what I what i am so grateful for is we did get to make up publicly and get to be an example of redemption for young girls end of quotes a pregnant Katy Perry also suggested that a double standard in how the media covers female fights is partly to blame for the star's public feud mm. i'm gonna have to disagree with her the last part of the yeah i mean obviously feminism but yes there's inequality now but i don't i think it's a fair representation i think how it is how the feuds are presented is different which is normal because men don't fight with each other the way women fight with each other it's different so i, I still hear of the rivals like this person doesn't like this person 50 cent shaded this person drake is in the fo followed this person like we hear that all the time mm -hmm. i guess what you see is that there's more beefs about women's fights on the media but that's also another fact that women just argue with, like pe have petty fights a lot more than men some men will actually not rate the person and still show face if that makes sense also like i was up and the, these ones if you go to them if you go to the gala you will not greet each other and you will not whatever whatever so I, <coughs> Sorry, I just, We're feel just like, petty. I feel like she's just trying to reach a bit for me. Like it's not mm -hmm. that deep. You've settled the fight, you've settled the fight. It's not about women or men. Well, how about the redemption part? Even that was a bit <laughs> like it, that she's trying to make a big deal out, out of, of nothing. nothing. Now she's the one making a big deal out of nothing. So would you blame the media when they decide to now take your big deal to make it bigger? Yeah, like you say your redemption for young girls. Calm down. Like, first of all, <clears> nobody <throat> really cared about the argument because there was even no gist about it. We knew um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift fights with a lot of people, mm. first of all. She's quite the, like, teenage girly girl that has clicks and people she doesn't like. So she said it in Rolling Stones that um, she had an enemy, that had this unknown person, her enemies, whatever. And then the next day, uh, Taylor, uh, Katy Perry tweeted and said, watch out for someone in the black sheep, whatever. Mm -hmm. So while the ones who actually correlated the two things, we don't know what the gist is about. Girls did not lose sleep over the fact that they were arguing or that maybe the the tweets happened to be related to um taylor swift's comments so your 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 settling now really doesn't i don't think it affects girls that much I, mm. it's a stretch for me i really don't even agree with the whole redemption part of it all because um if you're talking about redemption for young girls then i don't think it should be a public thing can we just see the both of you together reconciled and you'd be like oh those two people had beef the same way they did actually they no i'm Probably saying it like actually. without the statements like mm -hmm. can we just get the gist like we got the gist with the black sheep and all of that as well like why didn't we why didn't you just let it happen and then if you really want to set an example for young girls let's forgive those who have trespassed against us let's forgive those who have offended us let's forgive those who are not doing the right thing and still love them and still pray for them and still make sure that because if it's about redemption it's not you and katie perry's beef that you want to use to set a standard or an example for young mm. ladies there's so many other things to forgive do you understand so i don't you know we can start with not that well. you bring that up we can start with her and her ex that did she not sign print up and to call her money what's that guy that british idiot that has long hair so she should forgive him russell anyway, whatever, the redemption the redemption what well, like we can start with that that would be a nice yeah so start of forgiving and then set an example for you i feel like i understand where it's horrible <laughs> she's coming from that's me taking it from where you talked about girls and having cliques and how um, it's a thing actually because there are many ladies that cannot survive without a click. Mm. There are very few that can be like me or you or like, yeah, you know what, like enjoy your life. Whether yeah. there is click or not is not my business anyway. But there are so many people that are dependent on that click. And in being in that click, they kind of step on each other's toes. And sometimes <coughs> they don't understand how to navigate from that um, bad vibe into becoming matured mm. and relating with other people. Mm. So if there are people who are in that, I mean, we've watched something like Gossip Girls. Mm. Mm. Like series have actually shown what can life. happen from high school and how it can become a lifetime and everything. Mm. So maybe in that um, angle, she can actually be, or both of them can be a model for girls that have lived that kind of life to understand that they can actually mm. become something and not necessarily be petty. I guess petty. maybe the conversation, like it just did, can start from that. But I don't know. There's not. There's not. There was nothing 
talk about, about their it. fight. Yeah. But it's good that you brought that conversation up because I've always like had a, a, a clash with people who like cliques that want to be mm -hmm. that want to be friends because then they're a lot more reliant and we must do things together and I must inherit your enemies and I don't do that. Yeah. Like if you have a beef with someone, have a beef with someone. The enemy of my enemy. I don't believe friend. in that. No. I mean I'll have to be able to make my own decisions on my own. Yes, I don't <laughs> think I should be best friends with somebody yeah. who is obviously hurting my friend. But then to adamantly fight on like <laughs> It really depends. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe rapists. That's those are the people that, yes, I don't care if he's not me. I will yeah. fight for you. But it has to be really extreme if I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that. So that, that's a conversation that I'm hoping maybe would happen based on the story. Yeah. But I don't even I don't even think it's even get that deep for these girls that they are claiming that this thing is for. I guess she also is pregnant. So everything is like really lullaby <laughs> and her heart is bigger and there's a lot more love. Or okay, something. cool. Yeah.